called One Bullet. We have to shoot our way through the horde. I don't have much ammo left, and neither do you. But each time we kill one with a bullet to the brain, the others hesitate long enough for us to make some progress. After an eternity of clawing fingers and gnashing teeth, we make it to the doorway of our safe place, the fragile refuge you and I cobble together inside this abandoned store. I watch your back while you turn the key in the lock, and then we both slip through, shut the door, and barricade the entrance. I can still hear them moaning outside. You sit on a crate full of canned food, bury your face in your hands, and mutter something about thanking God we made it. No, I say, we didn't. You look up at me, and that's when I show you my arm. I can see the two marks. My blood oozes slowly from the wound, thick and unnaturally dark. I can already feel the infection burning, climbing up to my shoulder like cold fire. You jump to your feet and back away, clutching your revolver. I always thought I'd be afraid when this time came, but my voice is steady as I tell you to do it. You look at me like you don't understand. You have to, I say. I used all my bullets outside, but I know you still have one left. I counted. Do it, I say. <coughs> Shoot me now before I turn into one of them. I can feel it inside me, in my veins. Do it. Our eyes meet. You slip your finger around the trigger and raise the gun. I close my eyes. A shot. A body falls. I open my eyes. There you are, lying on the floor. You're still holding the revolver, the muzzle inside your mouth. Your blood and brains are scattered behind you. As the change comes over me, I kneel beside your body and begin to feed. You taste like cowardice. <laughs>